This is a PSA if you are an Orca FPV1 goggle owner. There is a bug that will kick in today, which is the 29th of April 2023, that will basically brick your goggles or force them into bootloader mode. Now, this has literally just been found out today. Orca have published a PSA on their Facebook page, and we'll walk through that in a moment. And what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through what the facts of the situation is, and then at the end, I will share with you some of my personal thoughts on what has actually gone on here and Orca's reaction to this. Now, this issue appears to affect all of the versions of the Orca FPV goggles. So the original Orca 1, the new Orca 1 FPV Pilot, and the Orca FPV Race Goggle. It is specifically related to the date and time feature, and it appears to be the case that on today's date, which is currently the 29th of April 2023, the goggles basically force themselves into bootloader mode or brick. Now, there is some sporadic information to say they may work and then they will stop working or they will stop working as soon as you turn them on. It isn't 100% clear right now, but the advice is not to turn on your Orca FPV goggles if you haven't done so already until we have a clear understanding of what the situation is. This morning, Ivan from Orca put this post up on their Facebook page and they said, PSA, dear Orca pilots, we seem to have a bug in our firmware related to date and time feature that is causing goggles to go into bootloader mode. All of our efforts are focused on finding a solution immediately. We will keep everyone posted. Do not turn on your goggles until we publish a fix. So what it seems to be is there is an issue in the date and time and when your goggles power on, they get to that date and time, which it is today, and then the issue occurs. Now, it isn't clear what the situation is if the date and time isn't set on your goggles. It would imply from the information we've got here that if your date and time wasn't set and it was at a time and date in the past, you will possibly be okay. But my advice at this point would not be to turn them on until we have a better understanding of what that whole situation is. Now, about eight hours later, Tony from Orca Stroke Immersion RC has put this other post up, which now has a bit more info, as well as some procedures that you can perform to start to unbrick your goggles. Now, if we take a look at what he's saying, he said they first of all apologise that people have been burnt by this, they've been working around the clock to resolve, and there is a procedure here to unbrick certain goggles, that is, the FPV1 Pilot and the FPV1 Race. Now, this procedure is shown here, and it is unbricking FPV.Pilot stroke race mark to goggle and they walk you through what the actual process is they talk you through it first of all they talk about warranty concerns and what's actually really good to see in here and they're basically saying warranty goes out the window at this point in the sense of if you damage your goggles doing this procedure they will sort you out don't worry they're not going to leave you behind because this procedure involves taking the goggles apart. You will need to download some files and they have posted these in the file but it's also posted on the post as well. They explain what to do. You need to create a bootable SD card with the image on board. Then you need to open the goggles up. You do need to actually tear them down. You need to short two pins inside which will put the goggles into the recovery mode. Then you can follow the process and hopefully then your goggles will reboot and start working again. Now they do talk about how to know if your date and time is set correctly, but they also advise again not to power on your goggles until you are either ready to do this and if you're someone with a set of FPV1s, V1s, to wait because they're still working on a fix for them. Now, as you've seen, this procedure is invasive in the sense of you do need to tear your goggles down to get to those bootloader pads and force them into recovery mode. Obviously, not everyone is going to be comfortable doing this, and it remains to be seen what the situation is for people who don't want to do this. Orca right now have been working on providing a quick solution for people to do to get themselves up and running out in the field. But if you're someone who isn't going to want to do that, I'm sure they will be providing a solution on this in the near future. I suspect it will simply be send them back to them and they will sort it out. Now, 
all of the information we have right now is what I have shared here, but this will change and my advice to you would be to make sure you are a member of their Facebook page and check for the latest updates. There may be a much better or simpler procedure released in the future, but here and now, this is the only one that we have. So just to quickly summarize on the facts before I share with you some of my thoughts. All of the FPV goggles from Orca will brick themselves today, the 29th of the 4th, 2023, when they are powered on due to a bug in the firmware. You can currently recover the version 2 goggles, which is the FPV1 Pilots and the FPV Race goggles, but you will need to tear them down to do it. If you damage your goggle doing that, Orca will sort you out don't worry, they are not going to say you shouldn't have done this. They make it clear in their documentation, they will cover any issues. Now it is also clear that when you are performing this recovery, you're probably going to damage the foam. Orca have said they will deal with this later. They're currently sorting out getting these goggles working and they will announce what the situation is with regards to that at a later date. They've provided you a solution to get you up and running. Obviously though, if the foam is damaged, I'm sure they will provide an option in the future. Okay, so to share with you my personal thoughts on this situation. Now, I'll be honest, I am impressed how fast Orca have moved on this. It is a Saturday and they have been all over this in the morning and they've provided a solution in the afternoon. Regardless of what we think about if this should happen, is it good enough or not, the reality is they have been working to put a fix in place for people and they are trying to get this sorted as soon as possible. It is easy to say that things like this shouldn't happen and they shouldn't, but the reality is these products are very, very technical now and the fact is bugs happen. It's just real bad luck that it happens to be a bug like this that tends to brick the goggle and not just a bug that resets the clock. I suspect the guys over there at Orca have been absolutely going out of their mind today, but what is very impressive is the response. And I really do think they have done an outstanding job of getting on top of this, providing solutions, and really there is very little more than that we can ask. Obviously, it remains to be seen what will happen with this moving forward. There is going to be goggles that people don't want to tear down themselves, so if they can't provide a solution remotely, they're going to have to have them sent in. There are question marks over, are Orca going to pay the postage both ways on that? Are they going to provide the face foam for free that gets damaged in the mod? We don't know, but based on the response that we've seen so far, I am confident that they will sort people out. Now, I don't own a set of the Orca goggles myself, so I can't actually walk you through the recovery procedure. I would love to actually do it on a video. If anyone's got a set they'd like me to do, please do reach out to me. I would love to get them sorted for you and then hopefully be able to share the process with people so they've got it covered as well. But I'm sure Orca will be putting something out too. In the end, is it good enough? No, but their response is highly impressive and it's great to see them on top of this and hopefully they'll be able to come up with a solution that gets this fixed without a teardown. But if they can't, I'm confident that they will sort most people out. At the end of the day, in times like this, it doesn't matter what happened. What's important is how they deal with it and it appears to be the case they are dealing with it so far very, very well. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. I hope you found it useful. I will put links to that document in this video. However, actually, I won't. Please use their Facebook page, their website for the latest data. I don't want to put a link to a document that could be old or out of date. So my advice to you is go check out their Facebook page, go there and get the latest info. That way, if anything changes, you'll know about it. That's it from me. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.